Hey, this is Jeremy, and welcome to The Daily Devo. Today, we're talking about when Jesus calmed the raging storm. When I was a kid, I would occasionally go fishing with my grandpa. And he would have me get up at 3 a.m. because I guess that's what you do when you go fishing. We'd be out on the water by four. And like most kids, I would promptly fall asleep underneath the bow of the boat. One time I woke up to Grandpa racing us back to shore because a storm had come upon us. It was a terrifying experience. So when I read the story from Luke chapter 8, I actually feel for the disciples. And the Bible says that a storm came out of nowhere and they feared for their life. And the Bible even confirms that they're in great danger. So in Luke chapter 8 and verse 24 and 25, the story picks up right there. It says, the disciples went and woke him saying, Master, Master, we're going to drown. And he got up and he rebuked the wind and the raging waters and the storm subsided and all was calm. And in verse 25, it says, where is your faith? He asked his disciples, where is your faith? Man, that's sort of a brutal response. But when you start to think about it, Jesus is absolutely right. Of course he's right. He's Jesus. But it's like the disciples forgot that Jesus was in the boat. The son of God was in the boat. The one who raised the dead, the one who healed the blind, the one who set the captive free and taught the multitudes. Yeah, that Jesus was in the boat. And the disciples are just like you and I. And sometimes we let our fear override what we know and we believe to be true. And if you're going through a challenging time, I want to encourage you to remember that God is with you. Trust that he is who he says he is. The Bible tells us that he has a plan and a purpose for our life and that that plan is good. So when you feel lost and afraid, remind yourself, Jesus is in the boat of life with you. Believe that when he said he's good, that he meant it and that his thoughts towards you are good. Today is a great day to begin to trust God again. 